In this Linux tutorial, I will show you how to disable a guest account so your child can use it to go into a, a proper websites. Uh, for you to block certain unwanted websites that you think is too much temptation for your child to refrain from. And then to create also a Linux account so that your child can use and he cannot really download anything because it will be a non-admin type. So his password will not give you the pseudo privileges. And finally, uh, to monitor the computer uh, so from another computer, or you can even do it from your cell phone so that you know uh, if you ask your child, for example, to study three hours in a Khan Academy or one hour in a in Khan Academy, you can actually verify that one, they are staying an hour, and two, you can actually see the progress um, and that they are now watching YouTube and other things while they're supposed to be studying or whatever other purposes that you want them to do. First step is to disable the guest session because it doesn't ask for a password when you log in. And worse is that anything that is done within that account, it will not be safe. To disable the guest account on a startup, I just simply do a quick Google search and it gave me to this forum, which it gives us great ideas. One of the options that I like it is this one over here because it has a, a get it. So I will use that one because get it makes things a lot easier. So I just copy that command and after doing it, quit control LT to get my terminal. I just pasted that command there. And lo and behold, after asking my password, it, in my case, it gave me an empty uh, um, file, but that's fine because in here they said that if it was not created, all I had to do just copy this over here and paste it in there. That's exactly what I did. And I just save it. Now that disabled my account, my guest account. So to summarize, if I would have had, had that file already created, this would have been there. And the only part that I would have had to add to the end of the file was this phrase over here, which would have disabled the guest account. And then obviously I would have had to save. So this time that I restarted Ubuntu, I no longer have my guest account. So step one, check on that. So they say that walls and fences keep neighbors Honest. Well, this second step is optional, and that one is to block a specific unwanted websites that you don't want your child to go into that you might think is too, temp uh, too much temptation for them to restrain themselves. And for that one, you use this command over here, and here we're using get it, uh, the test editor, and we're going to edit the host file, as you can see. And inside the host file, we're going to write that number. Uh, uh, the 127.0.0.1 and then we're going to put a domain uh, that we want to block and it's going to look like this for example here i'm trying to block facebook and over here now uh, this will save uh, I, I will block twitter once i enter that in it will have to save so a demonstration is so i go into a terminal and i need to cut i need to paste that command when I hit it, obviously it asks me for my password. And what I get out is, is uh, here, I'm using get it and I'm editing this host file. And as you can see over here, there is a list of websites that are already blocked. Um, here is Twitter and I'm inside of Twitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block Twitter itself. And then, back to the terminal, sorry, um, back to the ed editor. As you can see, I'm pasting that over there. Well, I need to put that number like I did before. And now I just save. So let me go back to here and refresh. And you can see it's already hanging. It's now, it's blocking the site. Facebook is working just fine for now. And I'm about to block Facebook. Once again, 
Now, I understand that this process over here, it's a little bit um, it's slow. And I just save the file, I'm gonna close it, and I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna try to go to Facebook, and it didn't work. All right, let's see, what did I do wrong? So, let's see. Oh, silly me. I blocked Google instead of Facebook. And now I'm gonna save. Now, very important is if you have logged into Facebook before, uh, Facebook will still work in your host account, on your main account, and your admin account, which is where we are doing all these changes. But your teen account, since that is a newly created account, um, it doesn't have a cache, it doesn't have cookies, because the browser has never been used, so therefore Facebook and all of this will be black uh, the first time that, that they try to log in, no issues. So in here for me, it might work, it might not. Oh, okay, I guess uh, my cookies are clear, so therefore it just block it right from the get-go. The third step is to create a user account for your teen or child. They will have their own password and they must not know your uh, admin account password for your account. So you're gonna go into system settings and there, after you get the menu, make sure that you go into uh, user accounts. And the first thing you're gonna have to do is actually to unlock it. So at that point on you put in your password and now it's unlocked. So at that point on, it allows you to create a new account. So I just put my daughter's name. That will make it very easy. And I add the account. The account has been added. Now I need to enable it. When I enable the account, I'm required to put a password. I make it very simple for her. Nothing too complicated, nothing too easy. And then the system will allow. And really, I just simply use very, as you can see, uh, simple keys on the keyboard, and I change. At that point on, now it has a user account of her own name that she can access. All right, so first go to uh, this website called Kids Logger, and on the website, um, first thing, you need to go to Downloads, There is, as you see, Windows, Lin uh, Mac, even Android phones, and Linux. Linux PC is what you're looking for. So even though it says coming soon, it is already on Linux. The only conditions is only Ubuntu, Mint, and Gentoo. So how to install these loggers? You click here, and it takes you to these instructions over here. Oh, we are, you actually we're gonna download stuff counter. And the way how we do it is uh, actually, uh, it, Typing this in the internet, just copy it, and that's where I'm gonna go. Paste and go. So, here is the download for Linux. So, I'm just gonna click into it and I'm gonna save the file. As that is happening, uh, here is telling me that I have to extract the package into a new folder and then after that I got to go into a configuration file the configuration file is called stuff counter and I got to make a little change I got to erase this little tab and then I got to put in this address which I'm gonna copy right now and it's gonna look like exactly like this over here Okay, so let me go back to my downloads where it is at, uh, download. And I actually have a lot of stuff over here, but this one over here is what I need. So I open that, I'm gonna put it here, and I'm gonna extract it. So I'm gonna about to extract it to my desktop. And yeah, extract. I'm gonna show files. 
and I'm gonna go inside of Keyslogger. So this is the file uh, in, inside here on files according to the instructions. And the instructions that I'm talking about is is these instructions over here. Okay, it tells me that it went to the uh, files folder, and that's when I'm gonna find a staff counter. So I go into the files, and there is my staff counter. I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna move it into screen. And I'm gonna first I'm gonna delete this little tab over here, and then this over here, this HTTP uh, upload to, I'm gonna change it for the key slogger. Where did I get this one over here? I got it from the instructions. Again, I'm gonna go back, and I, this is an address that I copy right from here, and I copy it, and all I did is paste it into um, uh, into this folder, into the into this file. And I open it with um, a, just a regular get it. And now I deleted uh, the hash and I'm just going to save it. Now it is saved and I'm going to do the final step. So now to install the program I just go and it tells me that I got it I got it open terminal and I go to the uh, folder wherever I am pack it which in my case I am pack it into my desktop and I got to exercise this command so I'm gonna press Control alt T and I got here my um, terminal LS just to see what I'm at uh, so I'm gonna do CD desktop top and then ls just because I am forgetful with names and this is this is the file this is the folder where I need to go in so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna type in CD space and I'm gonna paste it uh, just because I'm really bad at typing and now I'm inside there ls and I'm inside of the install file so I'm just gonna go back to here sudo I'm just gonna I'm lazy and I'm gonna copy this and uh, I'm gonna go back to my um, terminal and I'm gonna execute that command. It's gonna ask me for my password. And it is installing right now. So I'm gonna pause it for now. So my program finished installing it. Now, the last thing that I need to do is, uh, the next step is to launch it and this is how I launch it. So I copy it and then I go back to my terminal and this is the first time that I'm ever launching it and right here. Now, I don't know why it appears in um, uh, Russian, but in here I'm gonna have to put in my password uh, to be able to um, upload to and so I can see it from the internet. The next step is for me to go to my daughter's account and execute the final step. All right, so the next step is to execute this one over here, this command. So I'm gonna go Control Alt T to get this. I already copy it and I paste it. And I get this thing over here. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna type in the email that I use for uh, monitoring. This is my account in Kids Locker. And it's already recording.